So Crucial have recently hit the SSD market with their MX300 series SSDs though. Is this enough to compete with some of those aggressive competitors out there in the market? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a review of Crucial's MX300 750 gigabyte SSD, which is currently hitting the market at around 299 AUD. And also you can pick it up on Amazon over in the States for around about 180 USD. Now for a 750 gigabyte SSD with a Marvel controller, that does represent good value for money. Though we still have to run it through the paces, test the quality of the product and see if it is indeed worth that money. So the product itself comes in steel casing on a blue PCB. And now the steel casing is not only for cosmetics, but it also functions as a cooler for the Marvel controller situated on the SSD. Besides that, you've also got SLC caching on this drive, also got data encryption and also power loss protection, as well as a three year warranty. Now, interestingly enough, with this drive, Crucial have decided to start using 3D NAND TLC. Now, you've got eight individual dies there, each packing 96 gigabytes of capacity, which comes together to give you 750 gigabytes if you're using 1,000 megabytes per gigabyte. They're using the standard 1,024 megabytes per gigabyte. The readout in Windows actually becomes something like 698 gigabytes. Though enough of the product, let's get onto the benchmarks themselves. And the first benchmark I'm going to pull up here is ASSSD, which is a very intense benchmark. And the MX300 scored very consistently across all figures here. I wasn't uh, disappointed in any one figure, but at the same time, I have seen faster performance in the past, with this drive scoring on average around about 1,060 points. And the inputs and outputs per second were very pleasing as well. It's great to see that they were pretty much as advertised on the box, coming in at around about 92,000 max inputs inputs outputs per second there. Moving on to the next benchmark, which is the HG Tune Pro benchmark, which I do a massive file transfer to see how good the write and read consistencies are across this drive. And I was very pleased to see that the writes did not drop at any point below 300 megabytes per second, which means that the Marvel controller is doing its job and it is a very good implementation for any SSD out there. So there we have it, the MX300 is a very solid drive. It's not the best performer, though when we look at the consistency of the performance, which for me when I'm looking at an SSD I do pay very particular attention to, was very impressive on this drive. And that's partly or actually mostly due to that Marvel controller. So when you get an SSD, one thing that I do look out for personally is a Marvel controller. So I'm very pleased to see that uh, Crucial have gone back and used the Marvel controller on their SSDs again. And this means that you guys, if you buy an SSD like this, you're going to get very consistent performance. And that's what it is about for me when I'm playing video games or if I'm doing work, I'm always going to get reliable performance out of my SSD. The one thing about this drive that I will critique is the endurance rating. Now it is rated at 220 terabytes over the lifetime of the drive. And though you do have a three year warranty, I would like to see it rated up to five years, especially on the 750 gigabyte model, since a lot of the other competitors out there, even on their cheaper drives, are offering five year warranties. So in conclusion, I'm very pleased that Crucial have gone with a competitive product that uses the Marvel controller. And with that said, I'm going to be recommending this product today if you guys are out in the market for an SSD that performs very consistently. It might not be the best performance you've ever seen from an SSD, but I guarantee you it will be one consistent workhorse for whether it's gaming or productivity. Anyway, that's about it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments about the MX300, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, this unit was provided as a review sample, though as you guys know, that does not change my outcome on any products that I review around the channel. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.